Hello. Can you guys hear me? We see you and hear you. Yay! I I feel like I'm looking up. Okay, I'll just look at the camera, not myself. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. I have <clears throat> been participating in a vow of silence for 24 hours, saving my voice for today. Not actually, but um, I do have a little bit of a hoarse voice. It's coming back, I feel fine, just still have lost my voice a little. So bear with me. Um, how is everyone today? Anyone do anything super fun this Saturday? Is it nice? Is it spring where you are? <clears throat> hot water with honey. I should try that. I have been drinking hot apple cider, but I don't know if that's the same. Got a soup for prom? hey -o. That's awesome! <clears throat> yes, I imagine it's already hot in Arizona. It is like the... It's very beautiful here today. It's perfect. My like ideal weather is like 68, 70... Between 68 and 73 degrees. I don't like too hot. Thank you, Toddzilla. Don't be nervous. Oh, easier said than done. I don't know why I get nervous. I mean, my videos are seen by way more people than are going to see this, and I don't get nervous for those. So I'm just, I've been talking, and I've been telling myself for the past few days, like, this is just going to be chill. It's going to be fun. It's just going to be like hanging out with my friends, talking at a picnic or something. Sean, the queen of all media, thank you. <laughs> PIB merch, guys. This is um, the Star Wars, oh my gosh, shirt. Can I say that the website's live? Okay, so there are a few things for sale you can go get today if you wanted. <clears throat> We're going to be adding more over the next few days, but it is popcornandbed.com. There is a few t-shirts on there, and it's embarrassing how long this has taken us, but like we've tried all these different companies, and I didn't like the quality, or I didn't like the price, or I didn't... Anyways, we finally found something that hopefully works. I mean, it will work, just like for us, and um, I think it's going to be... Fun. And like I said, we're, I want to put on some like crew neck sweaters. I'm going to add these popcorn in bed simple modern tumblers and in the next couple days will be on there. So you can check that out. I also wanted to tell you guys that 10% um, <clears throat> of any of anything I make today on the live, I am going to donate to the International Rescue Committee who is... Um, helping out in Ukraine right now and actually not just Ukraine but that's obviously their um, main one right now so know that and um, hold on one sec I need to look at the chat okay <clears throat> oh, good night from Spain yeah I'm Will there be any PIB sweater hoodies? Yes, so that's what I want to put on some crew neck sweaters and um, stuff like that in the next few days. Right now we just have like the basic t-shirts. Um, for 20 guy, I have a really good fantasy movie. You'll love it. It's called Stardust. Actually, someone sent that to me. It is in the pillowcase. Krusty, thank you. Can start my Dr. Pepper for packages 1 to 50. <laughs> Sleeping bag fellow. <laughs> no, guys, we. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay, so we did things a little different. I don't know if you've seen my last lives, but um, this time I had someone, my 
awesome cousin um, go through all the packages beforehand and just you know make sure everything's kosher she didn't tell me what they are but um, she did if it was just a package sent with just DVDs or DVDs from Amazon those are already opened um, I have tried to reach out to you via patreon or email if you left it if you um, sent a DVD <clears throat> and so that the pillowcase is already full. I want to show you. It's very, very full. So I'm excited to pick one of these um, at the end. And so every other package is just anything that's um, not a DVD. I also wanted to tell you guys, I got a comment on the last live chat premiere thing that said, if we want to suggest a movie, do we have to send a Blu-ray? And I was like, no, if you want to suggest a movie, you do not have to send me a DVD. Um, that is just kind of something fun and nice and that we're doing with the live, the pillowcase pull is kind of fun. Cole, thank you. <laughs> Number 16 on the jersey for one of the hearts. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> I'm only doing this super chat to say I did a penny more than <laughs> Crusty. Oh, uh, you guys, J Skew. Hey, you who sent me this amazing. Oh, that's not the camera. This amazing firefly um, picture is from him. Thank you so much. Um, I got lost in my train of thought. Anyways, you do not have to send me a DVD to make a suggestion. Um, if you're on Patreon, we have a form there now. If you go to Patreon, start here. There's a form where you can suggest um, movies. If you've previously sent me an email, Instagram, DM, Patreon message with your suggestions, those are already in the list of suggestions. And um, I love hearing what you guys want to see and what you want to watch. And um, <clears throat> Macabre Movie Maniac, hello Will. Surely the CDs are kosher. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. He told me you sent some CDs after um, my hello famous or almost famous reaction people were a little disappointed I didn't know who Black Sabbath or any rock bands were um, <clears throat> Luke thank you have you seen any David Lynch movies have I guys <laughs> I'm really bad at knowing directors um, I'm not sure Sounds familiar? Body by Tacos. Thank you so much. I love your username. Your reactions are the best. Thank you. Souls Con, if you pick my movie, can you save it for October? And thank you for being there on Bad Nights. Yes, can I message you on Insta? Yes, of course. Please do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you'll have to tell me if I pick your movie, if that was yours, and then if you want it saved for October, but definitely. Um, oopsie, did I miss one? James Moy, hello, across the pond. Nice one supporting Ukraine, Cassie, classy thing to do. Well, it's, I mean, the very, very least I can do. Um, I feel bad I haven't talked about that more on Instagram. Um, I, I don't know, it's, it's heart-wrenching and makes me sick to see what's going on and the videos that are coming out of there and I want to keep myself educated but I also like my anxiety goes up to here when I like watch too much news or I don't know I, I don't want to be ignorant but also um, can't overdo it I guess um, hello from Montreal thank you <clears throat> Okay, so, oh, I saw another one I missed. Guys, after the last live, I went through and I missed some super chats and it kept me up at night. I tried to message them on YouTube, like find a comment and reply to their question. Anyways, through the YouTube comments, but I couldn't find everyone. But Mike Young says, thoughts on the Will Smith slap. <laughs> 
Um, well, I mean, I talked about it a little bit on Instagram the night that it happened, and there was a debate in our household whether it was real or staged. Obviously, it was real, and the more that comes out makes that even... I mean, I still think so. Um, I think, the more I've read about it, that him and his wife have some issues and this was like the straw that broke the camel's back and he, I mean, I don't think he should have reacted that way. If Chris Rock knew about her condition, I don't think he should have made that joke, but all in all, it was uncomfortable. Um, what are your opinion on leather trousers clothing? I mean, they can pull it off in the Matrix. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Okay, so I don't think I have seen David Lynch's movies. Thank you for clarifying Stick Figure Studios. He said the one that I might like is The Straight Story. I haven't heard of that one. Um, <clears throat> what zodiac sign are you? I'm a Sagittarius. Um, definitely watch Wild at Heart and Mulholland Drive. He also made the TV show Twin Peaks. Okay, I'll check those out. I've heard of Mulholland drive but I don't know much about it Larry Potter I think I still support you on patreon but haven't heard on my email oh I message me at popcorn in bed one at gmail.com and we can get that straightened out but thank you so much if you guys are not on patreon that's obviously totally fine but it is so fun over there we have um a great community and fun polls which are always passionate and I love it and I seriously laugh my head off reading the comments and um <clears throat> 420 guy says Stardust, Michelle Pfeiffer, Robert De Niro and Charlie Cox, Claire Danes and Harry Cavill. Wow that's a big cast. Usually don't like romantic fantasy. Oh that's something like I could be into that. Um <clears throat> okay Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I love seeing fellow Canadians in here. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to tell you guys a couple things coming up. Um, what's on my list? Um, okay, so the website, popcornandbed.com, that is coming up. Um, Hold on, gotta open my. Um, coming up on YouTube next week is Falcon, last two episodes, Black Widow, so two Marvel movies. I usually don't like to do two Marvel reactions in the same week, but that's just how that one um, went about. And Ten Commandments <clears throat> on the Friday before Easter. So. I have watched that, so that was long, but um, I had never seen it. It was really good. I know the story. Um, I thought Ben Hur was maybe like a little better, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Someone said, Crispy, hello and thank you. Here's a fun question for you. Favorite guilty pleasure show or movie where you know it's really treasy chest? Cheesy, trashy, or silly, but can't help but love it. Example, mine is the OC. Oh, I loved the OC. Seth and Summer Forever. I have rewatched it multiple times, but I always just stop right before Marissa and Ryan break up because after that, I can't handle it. So in my mind, they're living happily ever after. They've all fixed their issues and have three sweet children. Um, <clears throat> One Tree Hill was like my... High, like I loved One Tree Hill in high school and like my freshman year of college. I put like my best friend's name in my phone as Lucas Scott so I could pretend that I was just texting him and <laughs> calling me all the time. <laughs> you know, weirdo. Um, I really liked Veronica Mars. That was, that's like a, a comfort show for me. Uh, 
And then like, I mean, I like chick flicks, right? So not even good ones all the time. Um, thanks, that was a fun question. Um, Zanzibar White said, just recently subscribed, love your reaction to the Rocky series. Any chance of reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars series? You might check in episode seven, on episode guide, since it's seven seasons. Whew, I know. Um, I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it. I think I'm going to do The Mandalorian after I finish Star Wars. And then if I still need more Star Wars in my life, I just may go watch The Clone Wars, but no promises. Um, I am going to finish Rocky coming up. Uh, this month we're going to do Balboa and then Creed 1 and 2 in the next few months. I'm also going to start The Mission Impossibles, which I'm actually weirdly excited about. And um, we did a baseball poll, so that's Major League One, that's coming out. And the next poll on Patreon is going to be a heist poll. It was going to be mob movies, but I have been um, warned that I should just watch The Godfather and Goodfellas because they'll automatically win the poll and then do like a mob, a secondary mob poll after those are out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Just want to make sure. Did you ever follow any soap operas? <laughs> Um, yes, my mom used to watch Days of Our Lives, and in elementary school, I would go home for lunch every day, and that was always on the TV, so I knew Stefano and, oh, what were, what was some of their names? It's so weird that I was watching this as, like, a 10-year-old, and I didn't understand, like, anything, but I'm pretty sure I turned it, it was on TV, like, not that long ago, and it was, like, all the same people still on there, which was mind-blowing, but that's still a thing. Um, Luke O'Neill, thank you. He says, ever thought of watching Seven Samurai? Yes. Um, I was just talking to someone about that movie. Um, it's, it's been in a, a couple pillowcase polls and I, I would definitely, what genre is it again? Is it Western? Mm, that sounds wrong. Um, Yeah, Mission Impossible is going to be fun. Toddzilla, that's a yes for Mandalorian on your channel. Yes! <laughs> uh, the Patreon members will be fine. He will we'll be happy. He will finally shut up about it. Yeah, I um, <clears throat> talked with, I mean, talked with you on the live stream, and then a bunch of people after that were like, yes, you need to watch it. So um, I think I will. Apparently, it answers some big questions questions that Star Wars fans have waited a long time for and I consider myself a Star Wars fan now so I have not watched um, the last one the rise of St Skywalker yet um, I'm gonna watch it it's gonna come out next month so I'll watch it in a little um, okay <clears throat> would you react to classic series like the Sopranos Miami Vice or The Wire I don't know are, I feel like, is The Sopranos like a TV show? Oh yeah, series. <sighs> um, I'm gonna, I have kind of told myself that um, I would only react to shows with one season or anthologies. It looks like I'm gonna break that rule with The Mandalorian, but I kind of would like to stick to that just because I don't want to commit to anything super long term. Um, and I know there's a, a ton like that that I want to get to, like True Detective Season 1, um, The Queen's Gambit. There was something else on my short list. Oh, From the Earth to the Moon. Um, so, Generation War, I want to. I think it's only three episodes. I want to see that one. Andy Haffler. Cassie, I follow a lot of reactors, and the consensus is you are the number one reactor, and they all look up to you. Great work. That is so nice. Andy, I know you've been around since the beginning of the channel. Um, thank you to all the OG patrons and subscribers. Um, that seriously means so much. And obviously the new ones too. Um, 
Are you going to watch Rocky 6? Yes, we're watching it um, next week. Me and Carly are going to watch it. Mad Max Fury Road. I actually have a reaction to that already. Um, okay, so I told myself that although this is going to be super casual, I'm kind of going to pick it up because I'm so embarrassed when these are so long um, of just me, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to start, um, it's not horror, but the American Pie series is probably out for you, right? I think I did see part of one of those in high school. I'm probably off the table for the channel, but Star Wars sucks. <laughs> Uh, he's stirring the pot. Don't listen to him. <laughs> um, <clears throat> every movie ever in a row. I've heard mixed reviews about the book of Bubba, Bubba Fett. Um, do you guys want to know a funny story really quick? Um, when my first son was born, my husband who is from Montreal, Canada, he would always call him Bubba. And then that kind of turned into Bubba Fett. He would always say Bubba Fett. And I thought that he was calling him this sweet French name. Like, I Fett is something in French, right? And I thought, like, oh, that's so cute. He's calling him this sweet French term of endearment. And then we were at Disneyland, and there was, like, a sign that you could go meet Bubba Fett. And I was like, Bubba Fett, anyways, found out he was a Star Wars character, and <laughs> that's what he was calling my son. <laughs> anyways, that's how I found out who Bubba Fett was. Um, <clears throat> I have seen Titanic. <sighs> anyway, what I was saying is I've heard mixed reviews about Bubba Fett. Is it as good as The Mandalorian? Um... Okay, I'm I'm seeing that I missed a couple. So, um, crap. an Eastern, but a Western. Oh, the Seven Samurai. Okay, I think that's what you're talking about, right? Burrito Jimmy, is that what you're referring to? Richard Hassler, thank you. Ideas for a series of reactions. Rom-coms, usually not thought of as rom-coms, but fit the definition to some degree. Smiles of a Summer Night, 1955. Harold and Maude, 1971. And The Gods Must Be Crazy, 1980. Okay, I'm not that rom coms, not usually thought of rom coms. Would that be like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, too? Kind of, maybe. Um, that's a great idea. I think I've heard of one of those. Um, the Will Meister says, Hey Cassie, love your videos. Have you seen the Christopher Reeves Superman movies? Does Carly have a channel? You're doing Rise of Skywalker next month. Is that for Star Wars Day? Oh, I forgot, May the 4th might have to switch around the schedule. That's a good idea. Um, I have not seen the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. I've only seen one Christ or Superman movie, but it wasn't Christopher Reeves. Have I seen a Superman movie? Or my dad used to watch the Lois Lane TV show, I think it was on. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Was Lex Luthor bald? Or is he always bald? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look. Um, Carly does not have a channel. She's very happy just doing sometimes on mine. Um, and Joe M. Hey, thank you, Joe, so much. Um, if you're just joining, um, oh, Mark, just a little thank you to you and your husband for the entertainment and loving the content. You guys take care of each other. Thank you so much, Mark Deal. Wow, that is so generous. Um, I'm so glad you guys are sticking around. I keep thinking that people are going to get sick of me or that, you know, the reactor thing isn't going to last. I don't know. I'm always so scared of that because I, I love this so much. I love this community. I love watching movies with you. I'm loving it all. So just seriously, thank you for sticking around. Um, Ing Bing 2000, thank you so much. <clears throat> Macabre Movie Maniac, yes, with Terry Hatcher. She's the girl from Desert Housewives, right? That's another guilty pleasure show, was Desperate Housewives. Um, 
Not like the reality show one. Not the house, like, like the old one with Terry Thatcher, Hatcher. Um, Frost 97, Mando is set five years after Star Wars Episode 7. So 25 years before 789. Oh. Make sure you do Mando 1 and 2, then Book of Boba Fett set. Okay, wait, hold on. Before episode 7. So it's between 6 and 7? 4, 5, 6. Oh, no, no, no. I always just wish they would have started at 1. 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. 7, 8, 9. 25 years before 7, 8, 9. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Um, J Skew, batteries not included and Sweet November. I think of you with both. Oh, hey, I think Sweet November is in the pillowcase too. Or is it Sweet April? Is there a Sweet April? I don't know. Um, thank you so much, J Skew. Um, Shadow Fox, when are we going to see your reaction to Boogie Nights? Do I know Boogie Nights? I don't, is that the one where they like, do this? What is that? Is that the Boogie Nights? I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Souls Con, I'm not getting sick of you anytime soon. You've helped me, so I want to support you as much as I can, you silly woman. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna do like portions. I'm gonna set timers on my phone. So um, what I wanna do is like 20 minutes of package opening and then 20 minutes of just answering questions. And then we'll do like five minutes of just like your number one movie suggestion if you had to pick for me. And we'll keep track of those after and get them all on a list and then another 20 minutes of packages so we can just kind of keep it rolling because I get so sidetracked and um, I just want to keep it at a good speed for you guys. Um, Luke O'Neill definitely watched Taxi Driver at some point. Was that with Queen Latifah? I think I maybe have seen that movie. Drew Murray, Canadian, hello for tense movies you can do Children of Men. I haven't heard of that one either. Um, Andrew, will you consider a B-list Halloween movie poll, Basket Case Killer Clowns from Outer Space? <laughs> People Under the Stairs? Oh my gosh, that sounds very fun. Would Cujo be in there? That's that's on my list after Ghostbusters for next Halloween. Um, Henrik, thank you for being a YouTube member. Looking forward to reacting as good as it gets. That's in the pillowcase too. Because... Although I've seen it, that was probably like 15 years ago, I remember nothing. So I feel like I need Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I don't know guys, he's just, I'm scarred by him from, so I, I need to see him in a role like that, I feel like. Okay, okay, hold on, did I miss another one? It's me, Dave, hello! Cassie, I'm gonna keep on track to get two seconds later. Hey, do you wanna hear a story? <laughs> Uh, I am feeling better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He is the meme king of our Patreon and Discord. Uh, thank you so much. It's me, Dave. Okay, Luke O'Neill just saw The Lost Boys recently. Great horror film. <gasps> okay, scale from 1 to 10 on my horror. What would it be? Interstellar, my favorite besides Star Wars Lord's Ring. Okay, I have seen Interstellar, but I never fall asleep during movies, but I think I was just really tired on that one, and I think I did see it and fell asleep, so I feel like I could watch it again for the channel and have no... It would be basically a first-time reaction. Actually, so Black Widow, which is on Patreon now, will be coming out to YouTube next week. Carly had already seen it, but when it first came out, I don't know how long ago that was, and she forgot, like, pretty much everything. <laughs> That was basically a first time reaction for her too. Um, she said it was way harder to react to movies that she's seen before. Cause I would like ask a question and then she'd be like, you'll see. And um, so for all those people that think, I don't think any of you think I'm faking it, but people comment on YouTube all the time that I am. But 
I just think it would be so much harder to react to a movie that I've already seen and knew it was coming. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, Sean. I'm really excited about these shirts. Um, they're kind of silly, kind of fun. I There's ones that like you know, have little quotes, but there's also one to just have like a logo. We're going to add stickers and tumblers and stuff if you don't want to wear like some big, if you don't want it to scream popcorn in bed, you know? Um, <clears throat> okay, guys, for real. Retro Scotty, always enjoyed your reactions. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you, Drew, for the inspiration of Star Wars Seed Hidden Fortress. Okay, I've never heard of that. I didn't know that was the... Um, inspiration for Star Wars. Okay. Stephen King poll. That would be a good idea on Halloween. Maybe. Should definitely do the Karate Kid and Cobra Kai. I've actually seen all of those. And really, uh, Cobra Kai was really fun. I still don't know what genre they want to be. But, um... I just love, like, Johnny so much and his 80s stuck in the 80s glory days um okay 20 minutes we're gonna open packages i might not see your things so i'll try to return to them though set a timer for 20 minutes okay let's open some packages i come prepared <sighs> most of them should be open just in case got a letter opener I've got, oh crap, but I forgot to do the addresses. It was on my list, on my to-do list. Um, okay. This is the cutest pink box. <clears throat> I think I have spoken to you. This is from Carrie W. and Daughters. She said, my daughter told me about you and your sister before Christmas and we quickly made your channel's girls night together with or without popcorn, hot chocolate and other chocolates mostly. You guys, they get together and do a girls night watching my reactions. That seriously makes me just want to cry. Um, they live in Utah too. Lots of connections to Alberta. I am going to read this letter after. It looks like you sent some of your suggestions. Um, <clears throat> I guess not all the DVDs were in the pillowcase, but I'll add these as well. We've got Hamlet. Okay, I'm familiar with the story. Henry V. Kenneth Braun's directional debut, where he delivers the iconic Band of Brothers speech. Oh, cool. You guys that seem like movie buffs and much ado about nothing. <gasps> I wanted to see this one with Keanu Reeves and Denzel. Anne of Green Gables. Oh, I love Anne of Green Gables. I've actually seen these. I won't put these in the telecase, but I'm so happy to have a copy. Love that show. And here's the first. Oh, so Canadian. Always wanted to go to PEI. The Lake House. I've actually seen this one too, but forever and ever ago. Have I seen this? Yes. Love this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait Until Dark, an intense Hitchcock-esque thriller starring Audrey Hepburn. The whole film takes place nearly all in one room. Whoa, this looks fun. Thank you. We've got Sabrina. This is going to be my popcorn pick of the month in June. So if I pull out of the pillowcase, then I can pick something else. And three miniseries, North and South. Oh my gosh, Thor and Oakenshield as romantic leading man. This is, I feel like I'm, I would love this. Thank you so much, you guys. That is so, so sweet. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to catch up on here. Where's my mouse? Okay, I'm going to put these ones in, the ones I have not seen. We'll find what those be in a minute. Okay, pile here, pile there. Okay, keep going. Okay, this is from Yemozi. Yemozi. Okay, 
these are. Ooh, some sunglasses. Love this. I feel like these are like had I Audrey Hepburn esque. <laughs> That was embarrassing. That's why I don't like live, because I just did that. Okay. Okay, you know what? I don't know if this is from Yamozi, because there's another note in here that says these are from Celeste. And I know Celeste, and I wonder if someone put the wrong note in there, like if the Amazon people did, or these ones must be for Carly. Yes, these are so awesome. Thank you. Celeste, you are awesome. Um, okay. Yo, M. I highly recommend you watch Seven with Carly. Also, would you ever consider doing So Bad They Are Good Movies? The number one movie for that I recommend is The Room. Just a suggestion. Um, <clears throat> I think I read that book, The Room. Is that with Brie Larson? Um, Toddzilla, you are adding decals? No, we are adding decals to the shop soon. Don't you worry. AJ Canada Pictures, 1999. Thank you from Canada. This is also from Celeste. Oh my gosh. Women of Walt Disney Imagineering. Guys, she gets me. I love Disney. I have watched like all the Imagineering, um, stuff on Disney Plus and every like documentary about Walt Disney and Disneyland. So thank you so much. What an amazing coffee table book that I cannot wait to look through. My kids will love this too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so fast, I'm going so fast. Um, how well would you say you retain the movies that you've seen for the channel? How much do you remember about say the Shawshank Redemption? I feel like I remember the Shawshank Redemption maybe even more than others because that was the first one. Um, and because I loved it. Um, hey, this is from Sean. Sean G, thank you so much. I think I forgot. <laughs> yes. Lip, lip chat. Is what we call in Canada. You guys see me put it on like 17 times an hour in my reactions. Can never have enough. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so awesome. Oh my gosh. I got to share the wealth with Carly too. Because these look like really nice ones too. Coconut oil, organic, love for its bees. Thank you, Sean. Okay, let's see if I can... Um, Keep it up. Retro Scotty, always loved your reactions. Thank you. For the inspiration. Oh, yeah, okay. I maybe caught up there. Um, okay, next. 13 minutes on the timer. Okay, so this one she said DVDs from this were added to the pillowcase. Okay, so there was DVDs in this package. They've been added to the pillowcase. Um, this is from <coughs> Jan, I believe, from Denmark. Thank you so much. I'm, I promise I go back and read these letters, you guys. I just don't want to do it on in front of everybody. Um, oh my gosh. He sent a picture of his movie, movie viewing setup. Projector and a 100-inch screen. That is amazing. He's watching Lord of the Rings on there. Oh, and then these beautiful... These beautiful Denmark postcards. I've told you guys how much I love getting postcards from you from all over the world. Oh, wow. This looks like... I mean, I bet these are explained in the letter. It looks like when that scene from Band of Brothers, or, or was that Fury, where they're going through the town? No, the one I'm thinking of is Band of Brothers, right? Oh my gosh. I apparently don't recall as much as I thought. Um, <clears throat> Joe de Amaral, thank you so much. Um, yes, if you go to popcornandbed.com, 
There is some merch now available as of today. So um, we're going to be adding more. Thank you so much, Jan. Um, in the next few days, but there is some t-shirts up there now. I, I need to say something, and I probably shouldn't, but I am new to the merch world, and I feel bad charging uh, $27 for a t-shirt, but they're actually not as cheap as you would think to make custom t-shirts. So I just want to say that I feel bad that um, they are that much. So obviously don't feel like you need to buy them, but um, know that it's more of like, we want like, it's not really to make very much money on the merchandise, but just to like, people have requested it for a long time and want to feel part of the club. And so anything you buy from there, even if it's like a $2 sticker that we're going to add in the next couple days is, is just so appreciated and like I'm picturing these scenarios where I like see a popcorn and bed sticker on someone's laptop or something or see a shirt and I would just die like it, so I think that ever happens one day it will be so cool but <gasps> I can already tell who this is from from his beautiful writing Steven thank you so much a starter set for writing with a fountain pen oh my gosh I always just can't get over how beautiful his writing is. And he said, oh my gosh, look how beautiful. This is so thoughtful. Some pads and a pen art fountain pen. That is so cool. I have the worst penmanship, but maybe this will help. Maybe I need to start a new hobby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Steven. You're the best. Hmm. Sorry for being late to the party. That's okay. So was I. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, me and my best of the family. Is there an update to the finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yes, that will be on YouTube on Monday. And then Black Widow coming. And um, then Carly and I are going to watch Shang-Chi and Eternals. Then maybe Loki and Hawkeye. And we gotta get caught up for Doctor Strange. That's all I know. Um Okay, this does not have a return address or a note. But it is a oh wait, there's a letter. It's called The Way Forward. Master life's toughest battles and create your lasting legacy. Robert O'Neill and Dakota Meyer. Oh, this is so cool. Signed first edition. Virginia Beach. Doc Metal. Hey, thank you so much. This is so cool. Cannot wait to read this. You found me with Lone Survivor. Written by two true American heroes. Okay, that's so cool. Rob O'Neill said he is the guy that killed Osama bin Laden. Wow, former Marine Medal of Honor. Wow, this is really awesome. Thank you so much. And look, it is signed. It's so thoughtful. I cannot wait to check that out. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. How many more minutes of package time? Seven. How are we doing, guys? Can everyone say um, where you are from? I would love to hear. Oh, my gosh. English toffee peanut. I have not tried these yet. I might have to try these right now. That sounds amazing. Sorry, there's no note, but thank you to whoever sent me. Hey, just opened your package. Yarn, yes, thank you so much. I, that was just so thoughtful and nice. 
Am I saying it right? Is it a silent J or am I embarrassing myself? Oh. Oh my gosh, these are good. I've been trying to eat less sugar and makes when I do eat sugar just that much sweeter. Those are really good. They almost have like a coffee taste, which I love. Hey, Kaysville, Utah, Michigan, United Kingdom. M&M's in bed, hey. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Do you guys ever put M&M's in your popcorn? So good. I love doing it with Canadian Smarties. They're like M&M's in Canada, not the gross um, Smarties you guys have here. Okay. This is... <clears throat> from Sean K. Thanks for the success of A Few Good Men and the American President we were given. Such a great show. Oh my gosh. I loved this show. He must have known that. This is Entertainment Weekly, The Ultimate Guide to the West Wing Special Edition. This is so fun. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Abigail Bartlett. I might need to go back and rewatch. So sad when Rob Lowe went off the show. He was one of my favorites. Mm. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, I would like to recommend that you and Carly do a series reaction to the Royals, which shared Elizabeth Hurley as the Queen of England. Ooh, I've seen that. I mean, I've seen it advertised. I love royal stuff, so that could be very fun. Um, thank you so much, AJ Canada Pictures. Carlos Fontes said, have you ever seen The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno? No, I haven't actually. Those are some other big ones that I've never seen. Um, I need to, <sighs> sorry. Okay. Um, Rusty, how about a horror movie night sponsored by Boogers? Hey, ow. Nothing scares you more than Canadian Boogers. Yes, we had this, was it on Trivia Night that we had this discussion for patrons? That I say Booger, like, you know, like, I think that's what, I think that's Canadian. But I think here they say Boogers. I don't want to talk about that on here. How dare you? <laughs> I don't even let my kids say that word. I am not, okay, this is from James S., I believe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is like Star Trek, the original series. Still need to watch some of this, um, but it is a... Captain Kirk Trekkie. Can you see in there? Look how cute he is. <laughs> Love this. Thank you so much, James S. If that was you. I don't know if that's what this is from him. Skylin Online. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna add it to my little Funko Pop collection over there. Um, <clears throat> makeup, anything special this month to celebrate 420? <laughs> um, maybe, probably not though. <laughs> it's not really usually one I celebrate. Um, never tried, you know, you know, you know. Anyways, okay, moving on. <laughs> um, this is from Sean K as well. Okay. Call us on Amazon wish list page and jumped on it. Do I have an Amazon wish list page? Ooh. This looks like a very nice tumbler. I don't think I have an Amazon wish list page. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Horror movie addict. You know, that's me. 
Oh, this would be a good conversation starter for sure. We've also got some, oh, looks like some face masks. Never have enough of these these days. Oh my gosh. Oh my heavens, that is too funny. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna wear these for the next reaction. Don't worry. Thank you so much. Uh, how fun. <clears throat> Ooh, a metal straw. Love that. Thank you, Sean. Okay. Um, Jules B, the mountain between us with Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. Oh my gosh. You're the Nova Scotian fan. Hello. Thank you. I love Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. This <clears throat> is from England. All the way from England, this package from James G. Oh my. Oh. This was probably very expensive to send. Thank you so much. Manchester, UK. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. We've got a book, The Mighty Eighth, A Glimpse of the Men, Missions and Machines of the U.S. Eighth Air Force. Look at that. That is so cool. Hey, when was that new Air Force show that was um, by Tom Hanks, the same people that did Band of Brothers, coming out, Masters of the Air? That's got to be soon, right? Ooh. Hand cooked English crisps. Love that. Oh, the timer. Okay, I'm gonna finish this one, then we'll do a little Q and A. Um, <clears throat> Julia and Marquette, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, see, I get so sidetracked. Okay, we've got some DVDs in here too. It looks like she kept the ones in here that came with the other ones. This is Hanover Street. Dashing American pilot who falls in love with a British nurse. Ooh. Oh, Harrison Ford. Hey, I could be into that. Red Tails with Cuba Gooding Jr. and Terrence Howard. That looks awesome. Kelly's Heroes, a World War II classic comedy. <clears throat> okay, that looks good. Underrated comedy romps in the aftermath of Pearl Harbor, 1941. And I've got lots of suggestions for this one. Ooh, Kevin Costner. Okay, these are going in the pillowcase. Thank you so much, James. Oh, my goodness. Cadbury mini eggs. My, my very favorite. And these are probably like, you know, Cadbury. Yep, Canadian. It's got to be the same, right? Our chocolate, which are far superior Americans. Oh, indoor chocolate and some sweet light and crunchy popcorn I think that is it thank you so much so thoughtful so kind cannot wait to, oh sorry i almost forgot these are going over here pile for the end all right hey Ooh. Ooh. okay now i'm gonna set a 10 minute timer to answer questions Okay, one sec. <clears throat> so, start. Hey guys, are you hanging out in here without me? <clears throat> okay, David Woodbridge, hello. Of the movies you've watched since The Poppies, which have been some of your favorites? Oh man, oh, that's a good question. Um, okay, let me think. I may have to look at my channel. <clears throat> that was in January, the poppies. So, what have been some of my favorites? <sighs> that's so hard. Um, 
Well, when is the live? The live was two months ago. Okay. I mean, you guys know that I like a lot of movies that... Um, 12 Years a Slave may have been most impactful, like stick with me, horrifying, educational one. I loved, um, what's the Tom Cruise one I just watched? The courtroom one. What's it called? Uh, A Few Good Men. I loved that one. Loved it. That might, that might be up there. Um... Almost Famous, another one. Everyone that asked me lately, like, what have you been watching lately? What should I watch? And I say Almost Famous if you haven't seen it. Loved it. Um, Ted Hammond, when is Rocky Balboa reaction coming? I will give you even an exact date. That one should be coming on April 29th on YouTube. And it'll be on Patreon the week before. Um, we've also got Legends of the Fall coming out. Major League, In the Line of Fire, My Cousin Vinny. Shang-Chi, Jurassic Park 3, got lots of such good stuff coming up. Um, okay. Whoops, it is, yeah, I don't know, okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, hold on. Um, let's see, what song, what sound dog make, what's on top house, peanut butter gets stuck to the, is this a riddle? Did you riddle me? Woof, woof, roof, stuck to the roof of your mouth. Oh, what? Is this a riddle? Am I missing something? <laughs> woof, roof, roof. <laughs> what are you just making me bark? Oh, stick figure. How well would you say you retain the movies? Oh, is that a re? Did you hear me answer that one already? Um, there are some that, for some reason, stick more than others. I don't, and, and not even necessarily, like, I like them more, so I remember them more, or <clears throat> I think things that are, like, a different genre than I usually watch stick out more. I can remember, not, like, quotes, but scenes. Like, I still remember the John Wick pool killing everyone scene very vividly weirdly schindler's list those scenes will never leave me um <clears throat> but you know what else one i loved is grand budapest hotel that one i think about often maybe it's because i have this picture here and so you always see it but i really like that one um Hey, Mark D. Oh, thank you so much. Heading out, wanted to send you more support. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe you and Carly can do a reaction to some kind of wonderful. That's on my list of movies that I want to choose for popcorn pick of the month. Thank you. This way you don't have to watch all three seasons. If Wait, wait, wait. I got Say hello to Carly. I absolutely will. Thank you so much, Mark. That is so nice. I... I may just pick some kind of wonderful for a popcorn pick of the month coming up soon. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> okay. Um, Cameron Melendez music. I was so excited that you finally watched A Few Good Men. I've been waiting since the beginning of the channel for that. Still loving the channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love that one. Um, so much so that I'm picking the top three courtroom poll winner. So I'm also going to watch My Cousin Vinny and A Time to Kill. And I'm very excited about all of those. Um, Damien Beatty, hello! He's been around for a long time too. I think it's time for you to do another foreign film. Either Seven Samurai, Das Boot, Hero, In the Mood for Love, or Downfall. Okay, I want to watch all of those. Is, is Downfall the one about Hitler? And then Das Boot has been on my war movie radar forever. I should just use, I should maybe just use that for a popcorn pick of the month. I am going to have a Memorial Day poll. I don't know if that would go on it. Um, but, and the Seven Samurai, which has been suggested twice tonight, so might have to do that one. Um, <clears throat> 
Simon Haynes. Love the channel. Will you go back and watch the end credit scene of Black Widow? Yes. Whoopsie. How could I have forgotten that, of course, it would have a end credit scene? Um, Carly is coming over on Monday night to watch a movie with me, Legends of the Fall. And we are going to watch and react to that together and then put it on the Black Widow YouTube reaction before that airs on YouTube. Thank you for reminding me. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go look over the side. Oops, come on, little guy. Oh, I'm sorry, the chat wasn't was stuck. Downfall is about Hitler's last days. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think that might have been on the historical, based on historical events poll. Or no, Trial of Nuremberg. It was on the, that's a different movie. That was on the courtroom poll, I believe. Um, <clears throat> Macabre, the first 10 minutes of a time to kill will be rough. <sighs> yeah. Um, Alex says, would you ever consider watching Jarhead Brothers or Prisoners? I actually did watch Prisoners. I have a reaction to that. That one was very emotional for me. Um, but I really liked like the crime solving part of it, but holy crap, it was sick and twisted. Um, when's James Spader Day? You tell me, What when is that in the calendar? Sean G, given that you started this on a lark, and now it is wildly successful. Do you have hopes or dreams or goals into the long-term future? Um, <clears throat> thank you. Um, I do have some goals for the channel. Um, obviously just to keep growing. I want the channel... Sometimes I compare myself to other YouTube channels or other reaction channels, and I shouldn't do that. Um... But I just want it to, like, always be a happy place, even if I'm watching sad movies, but, like, a feel-good place. I want it to be, like, a... I don't know. And, um, so it all sounds cheesy, but truly, I... <clears throat> I would love to increase my following on Instagram, just because I have a lot of fun over there, and, um, that's just, like, a, like a business goal type thing. Um, I am working on reaching out to bedding sponsors, you know, like sheets and, and comfy duvets. I think that would be cool, like to, to do that and just keep growing and subscribing and sharing movies. Um, we're going to have something come out in the next month or so. I talked about it on Instagram yesterday, kind of like a surprise that I'm doing with Carly. And I'm really nervous about it, um, but this, you know, you just got to take risks and have fun, and so we're going to do it and see how it goes, and obviously, I hate when people on the internet are vague, but I just, we just got to work a few things out, and then I'll share. But, like, you know when influencers are like, this huge thing going on in my life, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Ah, oh, it's pet peeve, and I just did it. I'm sorry. Um, Frost 1977, Mand- oh wait, okay wait, hold on, am I messed up? The Twisted Texan, oh there's my timer, have you seen The Outsiders? If not, no I haven't! That was on my list in the summer, and then it got pushed, and then pushed, and then pushed, and so I need to watch that one. It's like one of those, like, um, The Breakfast Club, kind of like that, right? Thank you so much. This was Stephen Palmer. Any chance of reacti reaction to Galaxy Quest or Big Fish? Galaxy Quest. I think that's the one I'm going to watch after I'm done Star Wars. And then Big Fish, I've got a lot of suggestions for that. It's in the, it's in the pillowcase, actually. 
I saw it in there. Baseball poll, will you watch second place? John John's, thank you. Yes, yes I will. I'm committing to it. It was um, Bull Durham, which is also in the fellow case, but I'm gonna watch it anyways. I think it won by four over The Natural, but I've been wanting to watch that for a long time, ever since you suggested it. Um, Macabre Movie Maniac, Hey Will, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Nostalgia Musk. I've never seen, I've seen, is it a cartoon? I mean, I like, my brother watched it sometimes growing up. Michelangelo, Garcia 209, Guys Correct Me From Rome, it isn't Loki, required viewing before Doctor Strange 2. So I am going to watch Loki. I'm just trying to decide if I watch it before, I mean, if I watch it on the channel. But we'll see. I think I will. Because I think it's pretty popular, newer, um, and I have a secret crush on Loki. So, I think I have to. Krusty, you heard it, boys and girls. I get to choose a James Spader day. That whole time in court, April 16th, is the best, most awesome day of the year. Is that your birthday? Do I need to watch um, Stargate on April 16th? It's coming up. Okay. <clears throat> Package time. Okay. Why does it keep freezing? Okay. Loki is essential for Marvel. Yeah, I'm totally going to watch it. I just don't know if I'll watch it for the channel. Or maybe a Patreon exclusive or something. Um, have you ever considered watching critically acclaimed movies like American History X? I have considered it. Um, I don't know why. The name of that one scares me. War movie request, DOS boot, World War II submarine movie. Yes, on my short list. Thank you so much, Damon. I have been meaning to watch that forever and ever. Okay, hold on. Oh. <clears throat> this is from Esther and William. Oh, her son and I enjoy watching movie reactions together, and we send you some of our favorite movies. We hope you enjoy them. Oh, oh, she's also including debut middle grade novel. It was just published this year, and I hope you like it. What? That is so cool. Everyone is so, oh, look how cute this is. Under the Tangerine Tree. That looks so cute. Is this one that I could like read with my kids, you think? I will check that out. Good job. That's amazing. Good for you. Ooh, Air Force One. Been wanting to watch this one. Hugo. Cool. I remember seeing previews for this. The Hurt Locker. Vertigo. Been really wanting to watch this one. And... Jesus. Cool. Wonder if that's like Ten Commandments. I mean, style. Thank you so much. You guys. So sweet. Okay, I'm putting these in the DVD pillowcase. I'm gonna have to get another pillowcase. Um, I don't think these are all gonna fit. Okay, we got piles and the book. Okay. Yep, set a timer. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay. T-shirt. From Amazon, but it doesn't say who it's from. Ooh, the Batman. Dang it, I wish I had this for when I did a reaction. We did an in-theater reaction with another reactor, and it is going to come out in two weeks I think I'm so excited do you guys like this movie <clears throat> I mostly liked it I, re I I liked it I was entertained by it it was like pretty dark but um I don't want to give anything away so I'm not gonna say spoilers because it's not out on streaming yet but thank you to whoever sent this uh, t-shirt pile there okay
here's the thing without saying any spoilers about the new one. I feel like I like, I loved like the Bruce Wayne um, aspect of the Christian Bale Batmans and like his like, you saw that address? Forget it. Okay. Um, that, okay. This is just my address. Okay. I liked the, the Bruce Wayne-esque of that Batman. And I missed that suave, charismatic Bruce Wayne in this one. Which I was a choice, for sure. I just, I just liked that part of the other one. Um, <clears throat> okay. This is from Sutton. We got some books. Let's see. The Life of Billy Yank, the Common Soldier of the Union, and the Life of Johnny Reb, the Common Soldier of the Confederacy. Interesting. Oh, these are like Civil War books, I think. This could be cool. Thank you so much. I feel like ever since Dances with Wolves, I've really. No, not. Um... I started watching a little bit of the um, Civil War Ken Burns series, and I'm very intrigued by it. Um, I need to finish that. I need to watch more. Okay. The 89 Batman was better. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> we'll disagree to disagree on. Agree to disagree on that one. AJ Canada Pictures, have you ever considered reacting to wrestling and wrestler? I would recommend the matches and promos of a wrestler called New Jack from ECW and Smoky Mountain Wrestling. I, I mean, after Rocky, some people did suggest um, reacting to, like, fights. I don't know. I don't know if I could handle it knowing it was not a movie. Was this guy the most handsome leading man in film history? Question mark from Celeste. Whoa, he is so handsome. Cary Grant. I don't think I've seen a movie with him. Have I? Oh, he's so cute. What's his biggest movie? Thank you, Celeste. I have like the coolest collection of books right now. A Grace Kelly book, an Audrey Hepburn book, and a, and a Disney book, and West Wing. Just, you guys are the best. Um, Cary Grant. Okay, the name is so familiar. Catherine, I know you have mentioned him before. <clears throat> Hi, Cassie. Hope you like Indy from G. You know I like Indy. G, thank you so Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is too good. Oh my gosh. Look, how did you know? It's the same. <laughs> this is gonna go. It's gonna go right here. Thank you so much, G. You always have the, the most fun gifts. That is so funny and awesome. I love it. Okay, that goes with that. I'm trying to stay more organized here. Okay. My husband is going to be jealous. <laughs> uh, okay. Another one without a tag. I feel so bad that I can't. Um... <clears throat> hey, this is awesome. All You Need Is Love by The Beatles. I love this shirt. So cute. So colorful. Love that song. Thank you so much to whoever sent this. Um, <clears throat> this from oh, C. This is from David. Okay. Emotionally attached to fictional characters. Oh my gosh, you are right. This is so me. 
And one for Carly too. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot tell you how true this is. I mean, you've obviously seen in my reactions, but one day I'm gonna share a Grey's Anatomy video with you. One day, it's so embarrassing. But seriously, after a show is over, I like go into mourning because I miss my friends so much. I just need them to be real. Um. Okay, this is from Amazon, from Sean K. Everyone's a critic, 52 week movie challenge. Oh my, this would be good for me. Every challenge in this book is a chance to treat yourself to a new movie watching experiences. 52 challenges with topics such as film that won best picture, low budget, big box office, and adapted from a book. Oh, this is so cool. A film that takes place before 1990. A B-list movie based on a true story. Hey, this would have some great poll ideas. Book adaptation, foreign film, the first film of a famous director. I love this. This is so cool. What a good gift idea for a movie lover. Thank you, Sean. <clears throat> So many Cary Grant movies to choose from. To Catch a Thief, Notorious, North by Northwest, Bringing Up Baby, Charade. <gasps> okay, I have heard of lots of those. Um, I really want to watch Bringing Up Baby. I think Catherine sent me that DVD. Is Catherine here? Um, North by Northwest. I also really want to see that one. Okay, this is from Erin C. Erin, thank you so much. What is this? Oh my gosh. Are these what I think they are? Are these boxing gloves? Like vintage? Is it? Erin. I think this is the same. Oh, you just sent this to me. Erin, you just did a super chat as I was opening your thing. Rather than trying to get into wrestling, check out a show Vice does called Dark Side of the Ring. It shows the real issues, not the showmanship. Oh, that would be interesting. Maybe like the Formula One, how it's doing like the reality show. I, I'm i sure you explained these in your letter, but I feel so legit with these. Thank you so much. Hmm. Glad you like the gloves. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. This. Also, no name. This is the company it's sent from Independent Artist T Public Fulfillment. Okay. We got a t shirt directed by Steven Spielberg. Oh, this one's so cute. So soft. Um, Love this. Guys, for. For a while at the beginning of the channel, I seriously was like, is Steven Spielberg the only director in the world? Like every movie I watched was by him. He does some great, great films. Thank you so much to who, whoever sent that. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. This is from Bruce A. Bruce. Also, amazing writing. He's enclosing two of his books for the for my kids. Oh my gosh, he's a children's picture book author and illustrator. How cool is that? Oh, I love that. Simpsons sheep just want to sleep. This is so cute. Simpsons sheep won't go to sleep. Oh, I can't believe it. Wow. You wrote these and illustrated them. There are some seriously insanely talented people that follow on here. Thank you so much. My 
these will be perfect for my kids. So thank you so much. It's so thoughtful of you to send. Just if anyone wants to know again, um, I'm sure he's okay with his name being public because he's an author, but Bruce Arendt, Arendt, Arendt. <clears throat> Macabre Movie Maniac, did you read any Goosebumps growing up? Oh no, 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 no. I don't think that was allowed, but even if I did try to sneak one, it would probably have given me nightmares for months. I remember the Goosebumps TV show that I accidentally watched once, or was it something by the campfire? That did not go well for me as a, as a, um, as a child. <laughs> Fixing first of my 25 scheduled pee and snack breaks, not simultaneously. Anybody need anything? Yeah, could you grab me a Diet Coke from the fridge, please? Uh, this is from Jason D. Realizing where you live, I recommend watching Fletch with your sister. Okay. Never heard of that one. What is this? <clears throat> it's a Mr. Pib shirt. P-I-B. Does that make me Mrs. Pib, technically, right? This is awesome. I love the vintage look of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So cool. I'm seriously not going to have to buy any more clothes because I just, you guys are keeping me. Thank you so much, Jason. Love that one. Are you afraid of the dark? That was the one. Man, thank you. Well, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh yes, I know what this is. Does it have? Oh. From Sean K. You're too good to me. Falco jersey. This is awesome. <sighs> Love him. Loved that movie, as you guys know. Someone said that Major League, the baseball movie that I'm going to watch, is similar to The Replacement. So I think I'll love it. That one was like out of nowhere for me. Did not expect much going into it and then just loved it so much. Um, <clears throat> okay. How fast am I right now? Okay, I, I gotta make sure that um, I'm not showing. Okay, addresses. This is from G. Address original film cells here about time collection. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. These are so cool. I have a few of these now, and this is my very favorite movie. So thank you so much. Again, so nice and thoughtful. Certificate of Authenticity of the Original Film Cell. I gotta see what scene it is. Oh, it's on the subway with his dad, I think. So cute. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You know I love that. We've got to find a place for it in this room. <clears throat> okay, sorry. I just want to... I don't want to miss out. I got FOMO on the chat. Yes, my favorite movie is About Time. This is from Desert Swordsman, Matt T. Hello? Oh my gosh. You guys, are these? I think these are lightsaber chopsticks. Ah! <gasps> that actually light up. No way. You know what that means? That I have to learn how to use chopsticks. Oh my gosh, how funny are these? Thank you so much, Matt. 
These are awesome. I need to immediately have a Star Wars and stir fry party to use these. Thank you. How fun. Careful, don't burn your mouth. <laughs> Let's see if I can do the um, noise. No, I'm going to try actually. Um, how is that? <laughs> ah. <clears throat> okay. We're getting there, people. <laughs> okay, I think these are the ones from you, Will. Welcome to the world of metal and rock. Hey, -o. Oh my gosh. Metallica. Could not name one song, but heard of them. Rob Zombie. Oh boy. He looks terrifying. Maybe he's nice though. Um, this one's just black. See something? Looks like there's a snake. Top selling album of the past 25 years. What? Metallica. Okay, Metallica. My music education begins. Evanescence? I think I know one of that one of those songs, maybe. Oh no, I think I'm thinking of Enya. Ozzy Osbourne? Ooh, I'm so scared of him. Metallica. Evanescence. I <laughs> Um, I don't know, guys. Should I do a reaction to these CDs later? Oh, and Guns N' Roses. Oh, my heavens. Who would buy this CD if you saw that in the store? They're like, yeah, that looks good. That looks it's terrifying. Oh, well, thank you so much. It's going to be fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a William... What was his name? William Murphy? Is that his last name? Moment of the CDs that his sister left him under the bed. Except it's going to be those for me. <clears throat> okay. This is from Derek. Derek B, I believe. Have you ever seen? Wait, where'd that go? Have you ever, have you or Carly ever seen Scarface? It's about a man, his little friend, and making it to the top of his profession. I think my mom told me that that's her least favorite movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it, um. But I gotta look it up, because I remember her always saying that growing up. Like, my dad would make fun of her for her reaction to when they went and saw Scarface in the theater. Oh my. Oh, this is from G. I hope this will always... Okay, this is not from Derek. That's who made them, I think. But this is all... will always remind you of the movies you love from G. Okay, so it's got some hanging things. Oh, he made my thumbnail. That is so, so cute. You picked the perfect face for this too. Oh my gosh, so thoughtful. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, there's the timer. I might have to extend the package opening a little bit because we've got a few left. Can you, can you fix that? Okay. Heat. Um. That looks like the newer Sabrina. You might also want to try the old one with Aubrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart. Okay. Um. One of the poll ideas, um, we had was doing like a, a remake poll. So like the old Sabrina and the new Sabrina, or like. There was a bunch of other examples, but I think that would be really fun. Or also doing, I think John John's, it was your idea of like a double feature. And watch that, which could also be super fun. Um, 
Michael, our editor, would probably <laughs> hate us for trying to do a double feature two in one day, but how fun would that be? Okay, Walter um, Petruzek, you, yes, watch Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze, Jennifer Grey from Dirty Dancing, popular overseas like Ukraine phrase associated with movie Wolverine was sprayed on a burned out Russian tank on news clip from Kiev. Hold on. Okay, watch Red Dawn and then a phrase associated with the movie Wolverine was sprayed on a burned out Russian tank on news clip from Kiev. Oh, I haven't seen Wolverine. I haven't seen the X-Men. That's on my list too. What did it say? I'm so curious now. Hey, this is from Aaron G. He is, and he always sends awesome packages. Um, Aaron from Iowa. These are some more movies and things to enjoy. Oh, please open them together at the same time. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of t-shirts in here. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I survived the awakening of the safe puff marshmallow man. I just posted about these marshmallows on Instagram. They're so cute. Love that. Uh oh my gosh. Say anything shirt. This is so awesome. Love that moment. Feels so um soft. Still water. No more airplanes. Tour 74. <laughs> oh, like from Almost Famous. No more airplanes. Tour 74. That is too funny. These are so awesome. And we've got you gotta do it this way. Farewell, little Sebastian Memorial concert. <laughs> Mouse Rat. Oh my gosh. Friday Night at the Pit. Parks and Rec. Love it. Love it. Love it. These are awesome. Cannot wait to wear those in a reaction. Oh wow. Okay. We've got a candle. We've got the Kellerman scented candle from Dirty Dancing. Smells like I carried a watermelon spaghetti arms. Nobody puts baby in a corner and I had the time of my life. Oh my gosh. That smells very good, actually. Hellerman's. That's mostly watermelon. I love it. Okay. Well, look at this handy box in a box. Got the Muppet Christmas Carol CD. Thank you, thank you. And look at all these. So many decals. Holy cow. Wow. Looks like this Grey's Anatomy, more Grey's Anatomy. Oh my gosh. Pulp Fiction. Holy Canada. Movie ones. Marvel. It's a great day to save lives. It's a beautiful day to save lives. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I just messed it up. That is amazing. I cannot wait to cover every surface of my house in Grey's Anatomy decals. Another okay. Oh, what? Farmer's popcorn cob pops off the cob. I've seen these. You just microwave them. Oh my gosh. And Thor. A Thor Pez. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is too funny. Thank you so much. I think there was DVDs in here as well, and they have been put in the pillowcase. It's what it looks like from the letter. And it's, thank you so much, Erin. You always send such great, thoughtful, generous, kind packages. All of you. Um, Andy. Hello, I like the addition of trailer reactions. What a great idea. Oh, thank you. I thought that was fun too. And now that movies are kind of getting back to normal and big stuff's coming out, I think it could be like a once a month type thing or something. 
I know the literal day I released it, a new Doctor Strange 2 um, came out. Hey, this is from Matt, the way Denzel says it. Hello. Thank you so much. I know. Oh, my. Oh, my. Please tell me this. <gasps> Popcorn blanket. This is amazing. <laughs> Everything I love. Popcorn and blankets. Did you guys see the shirt on the website? It says popcorn and blanket and movies and bed. Kind of fun. Oh my gosh, it's even like in the shape of popcorn. This is amazing. <laughs> and it actually is so soft. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you, Matt. This is seriously awesome. Oh my gosh, okay. I like that about time guy better in Star Wars. I kind of have to pretend they were not the same person because he was the worst in Star Wars. Can we agree on that? He wasn't even that evil looking. Okay, this doesn't say who it's from, but it's pancakes and maple syrup. Um, smells so Canadian. Wax melts. I actually have um, like a little melter thing. So that is awesome. It's going to remind me of home. <clears throat> okay. This is from Toddzilla. And this one has not been opened because there were specific instructions to open on live stream, not before. So, hey, let's do it. Don't let the robo-hop haters get you down. It's a great film about de redemption and the second chance at life. Hey, this looks like something that I would not have watched before the channel. Never. But my eyes have been opened. I think this could be fun. Putting it in the pillowcase. Thank you so much. And we also got... Robocop shirt? Well, now that I have a shirt to wear it for, I have to watch it, I guess. This is awesome. This is my color. Thank you so much. Not like, I mean, you know, that's what like the old ladies tell you at the mall when they're doing your makeup. Like, blue is your color. So, not that I'm, okay. Okay, Damien, this year is the Godfather's 50th anniversary. You must watch it. I'm going to watch it. I That's one of the ones that I'm like, does not seem like something I would like, but I, I'm going to give it a chance. Um, I think, um, you know, if, if I'm watching, if the channel's about watching cinematic classics, I feel like I have to watch The Godfather. It's like, you know, one of the biggest ever, probably. Okay, we've got from Sean K. Oh my gosh. These are, <laughs> they are the shining socks. Are you kidding me? These are terrifying and hilarious. The two twins, the two socks. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. Thank you. Oh, this is just so soft, this blanket. Okay. Yeah, I'm so fast. I'm pretty good though, right? How have I never listened to this About Time soundtrack? Oh my gosh. Ben Folds, love him. This is from G. Thank you so much. I cannot wait. Ellie Goulding, Amy Winehouse, The Cure. This is gonna be my new chill mix. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. This is from 
from Happy Hanukkah. He is patron and friend. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, look at this vintage movie poster, I love it. You guys, one day when I buy a house, it's going to be a must that I make a theater room because I will have the most decked out amazing theater room with everything you guys have sent me. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay. Your shining reaction is one of my all time favorites. Can't wait to see your rise of star, star Skywalker reaction. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. The Shining. Still scariest movie I've ever seen. Um, I know. Isn't this such a cool poster? Thank you so much. Um, I saw one from John, I think. Where to go? Where did you get your drive to learn? You seem to research after you watch a movie, TV show, or read a book. Is there something from childhood or from school? Are your parents avid learners? Do you enjoy research? That's so nice. Um, I don't know where that came from. I've always been like that. Um, maybe it's because people <laughs> assumed I was just a dumb blonde and so I felt like I had to be prepared to talk about things um, intelligently, but I don't know. This is from. One second, I want to show this. <laughs> Thank you so much this is from Dave and family. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That is so awesome. Oh, you're seeing my setup here in the mirror. It's a popcorn fed mirror. Awesomeness since 2021. This is so kind. Thank you so much. And emotionally attached to fictional characters. Don't worry, I have friends I can share these with. This is so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't wait to put this up. Okay. <sighs> Guys, I know oh, it's too hot. Too hot. You know, I said I would do a timer, and I think I'm um, bad at that. Okay. Um, John, I want to reply more to your question. Um, I I liked school. I like miss I miss school I miss learning um but don't you find that like such a fun part of a movie after is like like every single time I drive home from a movie I'm looking up how much of that is based on real events or like how does that fit into history or I don't know I just think that part is so fun um okay Let's see, this has a, whoa. Does it have a note? It looks like this is an engraved docking station. That is so cool. When I tell you I love you, I don't say it out of habit or to make conversation. I say it to remind you that you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Did I know that quote? Oh, that's a bonus catch-all tray. And this is the docking station. Oh. Look at that, it's 
really cool for your nightstand. Thank you to whoever said this. That was awesome. Oh, there's the engraving. Someone loves me, guys. Thank you, thank you. And this, I don't know what this is. Weighted exercise hula hoop. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Weighted exercise hula hoop. Okay. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. I can always, can always use a new way to exercise and make it fun. Keep it fresh. Okay. <laughs> that is too funny. Is anyone going to claim who sent that? <clears throat> Chucky J2, glad you're having fun. I'll be sending a few movies for next time. God bless. Thank you. Um, Andrew, have you ever not released a reaction because of how much you didn't like the movie and wanted to avoid releasing a negative reaction? Oh, it's like you know me. Um, yes. Okay, so. Carly and I watched Batman 89. <laughs> this is embarrassing, but... Um, we released, released it on Patreon and, um, <clears throat> so we didn't, we didn't like it very much. And we, when we were watching it, I guess we didn't really remember that it was 1989 and that like this was a Tim Burton style, but it didn't occur to me when I, like when I, when we were watching it, I thought like, no one would like this movie. Everyone will be making fun of it. So we were kind of making fun of it kind of a lot. And um, found out after that it's actually like well loved on like reviews, IMDb, and also by a lot of my patrons. And um, so there was some negativity um, from patron patrons about our reaction, which is fine. Um, but I was too scared to put it on YouTube after that. So that's the story of Batman 89. And maybe one day I'll be brave and just put it up there. But um, for some reason I was like affected by, it was like, these are the people that are supposed to like me. <laughs> but mostly everyone was very nice. And they were just like, what, are you crazy? This movie's like part of my childhood. I love it. How could you not like it? Blah, blah, blah. So it it's, it's fine. But... Yeah, that's the story of that. Okay. Um, it's me, Dave. Harrison's head behind you is freaking me out. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Hello. <laughs> um, do you feel your scary movie threshold has gotten better in the one plus years you've been reacting? Um, yes. A little. I'm still very jumpy. And that's just, like, me. Um, but, okay, I think, I think this is from Mark, but I, hold on, I gotta finish my thoughts. Um, so yes, my threshold has increased a little. Like, I thought I would have nightmares after a lot of the movies I watched in October, but I didn't, so that's a good sign, because I used to, as, like, in high school, if I, you know... I Am Legend, Signs, like those movies freaked me out for months and months and months, um, but I still don't ever choose to like go watch scary movies for fun. Um, I also feel like my level for like gore and like war stuff has increased and because before I never wanted to watch any of that because I was just like, ew, no, can't, like it's too hard to watch. But I feel like I've loved the war genre so much that I can watch it. I mean, I watched The Pacific, which was like, and Saving Private Ryan. So there was a lot of very graphic stuff in there. And I've kind of been avoiding Vietnam War movies because I was so scared of that stuff, but 
think I might be ready. Anyways, okay, so I think this is from Mark. Um, I just remembered he sent a game, so I think this is from him. He knows that I love board games, so this is so cool. Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. Oh, and I love detective stuff. This is so awesome. I can't wait to play this. I think this is a game. Yes, it is. This looks so fun. And a little star. Oh my gosh. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it's a golem stuffed animal. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my gosh. And terrifying. What child? <laughs> oh my, okay, hold on. Hold on. That is so funny. Who doesn't want this in their bed? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is cracking me up. Okay. This is so funny. James, holy cow, thank you so much. I hope you are enjoying your weekend off. I, uh, that is so generous and nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He has also been a patron friend for a long time. Um, Toddzilla, I was devastated with Batman 89. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe a rewatch, it would change my perspective. <laughs> Hey, but the dancing villains to the beatbox throwing paint on art. I mean, I don't know. Just, this was, <laughs> was not my favorite. But it's maybe because I watched the Dark Knight trilogy and loved those and then went backwards. Maybe if I would have grown up on, I don't know. Okay, Cyberpunk Space Jam. Hey Cassie, it'd be so fun to see you react to animated classics like Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest, An American Tale, and The Brave Little Toaster. The songs in all of them are catchy and memorable. I did realize that there are some animated classics that I've never seen. I have seen The Brave Little Toaster. I think I might have seen Fern Gully. But I realize I've never seen The Aristocats recently. Um, that one could be fun, but thank you so much. I will definitely keep that in mind. Um, getting kind of close, guys. This is from Tyler Foster. Thank you, Tyler. This, this is the... This is our movie trivia guru patron. Patron. Sheesh. Um, sorry, I just. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Rocky Funko Pop. And he's got a chicken. This is too awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Ghostbusters. The girl version. This was, he gave me, when he won trivia night, he gave me a list of five movies. I picked The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, but these were two other ones on the list. Riding in Cars with Boys and Ghostbusters 2016. I might just need to watch or react to these. Thank you so much, Tyler. That is so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you used the Amazon gift card to buy these, not your own money. <laughs> thank you. Oh yeah, let's put those in the pillowcase. Okay. Um, you and Carly went mean girls on Batman. No, don't say that. That is like the worst. I would never be a mean girl. I feel like <laughs> we did make fun of it, but in a joking, friendly way, right? Oh, I'm glad we're still friends, Toddzilla, after that one. Okay, John Johns, would you consider adding BBC miniseries Sherlock starring Benedict Cumberbatch? 
<laughs> Bandersnitch Cumberpunch to a series poll. No, it doesn't have Robert Brown Downey Jr. The movie is different. Okay, and doesn't it also have the guy from The Hobbit? I would totally want to watch that. I think I love Benedict Cumberbatch. I love Detectives. I think that would be really fun. Is that like an anthology one or is there multiple seasons? Uh, this is from Jennings. This is from Joe. Promising Young Woman, October Sky, been wanting to watch this one forever, Jake, still owe you that one, Pitch Black, and, oh, I just picked this up today, that's why these DVDs aren't in the pillowcase yet, because I just picked them up, and The Illusionist, I've also really wanted to, s oh, guys, every time this comes up, have I seen this? I think I've seen this, but not The Prestige. Yeah. Okay. I won't put that one in. But I'll put these other ones in. Is this a different one? Oh, okay. This is different. Okay. Hold on. Seen. Not seen. Back down there. Put this over here. One second. Get my... <laughs> Movie sorted here for a second. Okay. 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 And okay. Okay. This is from John. Hey, this is a film by Ken Burns, The National Parks. This is the same guy who did the Civil War series, right? America's Best Idea, a six-part documentary. Hey, this would be really cool. I think I've only been to one national park, but need to go to more, as well as Turkish Delight. Okay, I need to try this because this was in Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode. The kids were eating it, and I've only had Big Turk which is in Canada, a chocolate bar that I love. You either love it or you hate it, that one. Ooh, that's very, um, oh wow, okay. But I don't think I've actually tried the candy. So, I didn't know it was covered in this stuff. I'm a little scared. Uh, okay, had to make sure that it wasn't a wrapper. Is this icing sugar? Okay. <laughs> Look like I just snorted something. <laughs> it does taste like a big Turk. That's actually really good. And it's different flavors. Mmm. Yep. I will eat that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is so thoughtful. Okay. <clears throat> Please watch Die Hard with a Vengeance with Carly. I was just talking to Carly about that because we heard about that really sad news about Bruce Willis and I said we got to watch more Die Hards. Now, um, but I was thinking I would save them for Christmas, but now maybe not. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know there's a big debate on whether the first one is a Christmas movie. I don't know if the second one also has that vibe, like because it takes place at Christmas. Um, AJ, the yearly airing of the Ten Commandments is on ABC right now. Okay, I, yeah, I actually just watched that for the channel. The reaction will come next Friday. Um, um, I am excited for you guys to see the reaction. I think it'll be good. I had to watch it in two parts because my voice was going. I couldn't sit for the full three hours and 40 minutes. So I watched it one night up until intermission and then the next night. So we shall see. Um, Toddzilla, I totally forget, forgive your Batman 89 reaction once it's replaced with Robocop reaction. <laughs> Deal. 
Uh, but tell me, how mean would the comments be if I put that one on YouTube? See, I think I couldn't take it. Um, Tyler Foster, getting ahead of myself, but if, if you see and like October Sky, you need to read the memoir it's based on. The movie is good, the book is amazing. Oh, I love book adaptations of movies, and I usually like to read the book first, but um, maybe that's one I can do the other way around. Al Pacino poll on Patreon. Thank you, Aaron Clapper. Have I... Have I seen... Do I... I don't know who Al Pacino is. Like, I know his name, but I cannot picture his face in my head. So I don't know if I've watched any of his movies. I feel like he's a big name. So I wouldn't know if I had. Was he in the, um... In... What's the one where the guy's baseball... Our head gets hit hit with a baseball bat. The with Kevin Costner, uh, Al Capone. What's that movie called? My gosh, this is from Dave M. What was it called? Oh my! Now I have one in white. Guys, this is amazing. Untouchable. Thank you. Is he in that one? Is Al Pacino in Untouchables? No, he's not. <laughs> what? This is so cute! I love the colors of this one. Now I've got a home and an away jersey for every time I watch the Washington Sentinels. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. That is so awesome. Thanks, John. Gotta hydrate. An energy drink, which I could also use. De Niro and Pacino are basically the same. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. <laughs> okay. This is from. Holy cow! Sean K. So many movies. <clears throat> wow, 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 wow. Okay. I'm gonna look at these real quick. I'm gonna add the ones. Okay, we've got all the Star Treks. House of Sand and Fog, Mission Impossible. Oh, I got all the Mission Impossibles. That's great. I'm starting those next month. Star Trek Into Darkness, Star Trek Beyond, Star Trek Dawn of the Dead, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Put those on the DVD. Man of Steel, Superman the Movie. We were just talking about that. Air Force One. Oh, it's got a double chance now. Jaws 2, Duel, Tomorrow Never Dies, Golden Eye, Animal House, and Die Hard Collection. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Got to organize these again for a second. Might have to um, get a second pillowcase. Okay, I'm not gonna put the Star Trek ones in, just because I think. Well, I think maybe the new ones. No, because that's a whole thing, right? Like if I pick one, if I get one, then I. Okay, sorry, I'm out of the camera, right? Okay. Sorry. Um, one sec. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Okay. Okay. This one looks international, which always just means so much because I know they're expensive to send, and this is from Australia. I want to go there so bad. Um, gotta be careful with the address. So, one. Okay. This is from Darren and Susie from Australia. My wife and I are reliving a part of our youth. Oh, I love it. All Aussie products and favorites at cinema candy bars when I was a teen, long, long ago. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, hold on. 
This is so cute. First, beautiful Australian postcards. Guys, these are so sweet. Okay, another rocky one. This one's different. What color were his shorts, guys? And Apollo. These are awesome. Now I have the Rocky in the sweatpants with the chicken and the Rocky. And look, he's even got like a bruised eye. These are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't wait to put these up. Oh, we got Australian sweets. Lolly gobble. Yum. Nutty caramel popcorn. Okay. We've got fru chocks. White chocolate raspberries. Oh, those look amazing. Um, these are dark chocolate peaches. Oh my goodness. Bantel's chewy caramel with a rich chocolate coating. I love that. Love caramel. Ooh. Violet crumble. These are like, we have these in Canada. They're called crunchies. It's like um, sponge toffee, I think, or honeycomb with chocolate. They're some of my favorites. Thank you. More chocolate caramels and more bliss bombs. Oh my gosh, this is like movie treats from Australia. This is so nice. <gasps> hey, Gallipoli, Gallip Gallipoli. I was going to watch this for Australia Day. I ended up watching Rabbit Proof Fence, which I need to put on YouTube. Um, it's on Patreon only. I cried and cried and cried, so it's a little embarrassing, but um, I was thinking about doing this one and looked it up, so thank you. Thank you so much. And Fatal Attraction. hey -o. That one looks good. I've heard of this. Michael Douglas. Okay. Putting it in the pillowcase. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is just so kind to send all this all the way from Australia. Okay. Pillowcase. Okay. What am I missing, guys? Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Crusty Pacino scent of a woman. Oh, don't you worry. That's my popcorn pick of the month for May. It is on my list. Um, James Maitland, who should be on here, has highly recommended that one. Like every week, pretty much, he sends a Instagram. This is my weekly pestering to watch Scent of a Woman. So that is definitely one I have wanted to watch for a long time. I'm going to. Don't you worry. Um... Cinderella Man, yes, it's also in the pillowcase. I I am pulling for it. I think I would love that one. Um, I've looked it up before after so many people recommended it after Rocky. Thank you so much, Shy Gemini. Uh, Mr. Shado, Krusty is right, scent of a woman with Al Pacino. Don't say Star Trek in front of Todzilla, you'll start a howl off. <laughs> Todzilla, would you allow your Star Trek expert Patreon? Patreons pick eight of the best 1960s episodes and react to them. This way you don't have to watch all three seasons. If so, we'll get on it. Okay, I like that idea. But would they make sense to me if I just watched a few episodes? Um, I, my dad used to watch Star Trek all the time. I just remember this guy with the, with the silver thing and this guy. Um, okay, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to open this, hold on, one more, Joe M, now that the Oscars are over, you should watch some of the Best Picture nominees from this year, including Coda, yes, I really want to watch that one, I loved seeing that one win, and everyone was doing this, it was so sweet, um, Don't Look Up, Nightmare, Nightmare Alley, Alley, and Belfast, oh, Belfast was on my St. Patrick's Day poll, I watched the trailer and it looks really good. Um, yes, I should do that. For those of you who don't know, um, I posted on Instagram a little bit ago, but we're going to do an winner Oscar past poll pick every month. I'm going to pick out a year 
and then watch put put the best picture nominees from that year's Oscars on a poll on Patreon and they get to pick. So I did the first one, I picked 1994. I had seen Schindler's List which won that year and I had seen The Fugitive. So there was three others. In the name of thy father crap. Anyone? What were the other two? I can't remember. But since there were only three, I also threw in In the Line of Fire and Philadelphia, which were also nominated a ton that year. And those were the two that ended up winning the poll. So I am watching In the Line of Fire from that one. But next year, I'm going to pull another year from the Oscars and do it again. I think it will be really fun. And 2022 is included. Um... The Piano and Remains of the Day. Yes, thank you. Those were the other ones. Okay. Um, okay, this is from It's Me, Dave. Hello. And I know you're on here, which is so fun. Oh, <laughs> wait. Remember how I said he was our meme king? Please tell me that these... Oh, my gosh you guys Dave this is amazing <gasps> you memed me you memed me a book okay let's just open it up and look at some oh my gosh the force is with you did he just stuff him inside a tum tum carcass So thoughtful. This must have taken you so long. Besides it being horrible, it was amazing. <laughs> That's for licking my face. Oh my gosh. And there's another one. Should I just put these on my coffee table and people can quote me? I'm sad that Frodo and Sam are alone and left their, their crew. What did they call themselves? The flock? No. They had a special name for their little group. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so funny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is so kind. <clears throat> okay. Um, it's me, Dave. I hope you're still on here. Thank you for this. Erin Clapper, five extra dollars to celebrate Scent of a Woman in May. Okay, you guys really like this movie. Makash Brody, I think Backdraft would be a perfect movie for you and Carly to react to. Gollum looks very precious. <laughs> yes, he does. Thank you. Backdraft, I've got a lot of suggestions for that, actually. Um, Benton Connor, what is a better movie, Alien or Terminator 2? Oh, Aliens or Terminator 2. That's hard. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Aliens 2 was really scary, so it's hard for me to say that one was better, but I love the relationship between her and Newt. But I also love the relationship between Sarah Connor and her, and her son, and like seeing how far she'd come from. Maybe I think I enjoyed watching Terminator 2 more because I watched it with Carly. I don't know. That's so hard. Don't make me choose. Which one would the chat pick? What would you guys say is better? Aliens or Terminator 2? Okay. This we got from Happy Hanukkah. Oh, DVD storage. I have no idea how much I need these. Thank you so much. You can hold 160 each. Thank you. That is so thoughtful. I'm running out of, I built some shelves. They're full. So this is really, really helpful. Thank you so much. That was very kind of you guys. Okay. We're getting close. I only see five more, I think. Is 
SoCal Patriot. I'm here. It can start now. Hey, welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. Aliens as T2 is practically a remake of one, but better. Okay. Okay. It sounds like everyone likes aliens better. I really enjoyed Terminator 2, actually, weirdly. This is from Bill W. Here's some snacks for movie time. Old Chicago traditions. Fannie Mae finding chocolate. Garrett's popcorn from Maryville. A new tradition, Albanese candy. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Oh. This is so nice. Oh my gosh. I saw this place in Chicago. Everyone talked about Garrett's famous popcorn. This is so awesome. I wonder if that's the Chicago mix. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I don't know what kinds they are. I'm guessing Chicago. Chicago, uh, which I love. The cheese and the caramel. I carried a watermelon from Dirty Dancing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. That was such a good moment. So random. He's like, hey, carried a watermelon. Oh, Albanese, they are the best gummies ever. Ooh, regular and sour. Fanny May chocolates. Yum. 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 Oh, even the cute little bag. That is so kind. Thank you so much. I cannot wait, wait to dig into that. <clears throat> and look how cute the tin is. What a great gift, thank you so much. All right guys, I started out organized and now it's getting crazy. Okay. Greetings from Fort Sill, where's that? Any more John Wayne movies in the pipeline? That's from John Casamasa. Um, is Tombstone have John Wayne in it? That one's on my radar for, and then, um, what's his, like, biggest one? Um, McGup, have you seen the six-part series Good Omens based off the book that came out on Amazon Prime about three years ago? I haven't. I've never even heard of that. But I love Amazon Prime. It sounds a little bit scary. Is it? Um, do you want us to do a GoFundMe for storage unit for all your stuff? <laughs> Thank you, Toddzilla. I know it's getting out of control. I don't know if you guys know, but we live in my mother-in-law's house in the basement suite, and we've kind of taken over her garage with our stuff, so I feel bad. But, um, <laughs> I might just have to. Okay, this is from... <clears throat> <clears throat> John C. I know you. Hello, John. Five movies on USB. Oh, awesome. Ooh. Mad Max and the Road Warrior, My Bodyguard, Class of 1984, and Scarmucci. Scarmucci? Scarmouche. I don't know. I don't know says we are on a flash drive. Attached to this. Oh yeah, here's the flash drive. Oh, it's a little kangaroo. It says, I love Australia with a little pouch. That is so cute. Thank you. That is darling. Oh my gosh. And there's a koala on his back. I just realized this is the most Australian thing I've ever seen. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. And the flash drive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Darling. Okay. Hold on. I got it. Okay. 
one of my favorite movies for placements. Oh no! <laughs> ah! Okay, never fear. You know who else loves the replacements? My dad. I gotta give him one of these now that I have extra. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Kevin P. That is so nice. Me, Carly, I gotta get Carly to watch it. But I know this is a repeat, but that is okay. This is perfect for my dad. He loves that movie. Loved that reaction of mine. So that will be perfect. Thank you so much. Only two more after this. How am I doing? Not bad. This was my goal, two hours. Oh, it's been two and a half hours. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I hope you're leaving if you don't want to paint the, you know. Okay, this is from Mark, Mark M. He is a friend and patron. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at, this is a Sting from The Hobbit letter opener from, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I have to keep this away from my children, but that is so legit. It's even in this like legit carrying case. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You guys find the coolest stuff on the internet. I just, I can't. Okay. This is Fisher Price Little People Collector Lord of the Rings. Oh my gosh. No way. We have Little People sets for the kids and I have a Little People Nativity at Christmas. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. Dawn, thank you for the super chat. Any chance of any Kurt Russell films to the channel? Tombstone, Breakdown, Executive Decision, Miracle, Used Cars, Unlawful Entry, especially come to mind. First, Sean, thank you for all the awesome gifts. You sent so many, you're so awesome. Um, and I really wanna see Tombstone. That is on my radar for sure. I haven't heard of any of those other ones. This is so amazing and so adorable. Gandalf, Legolas, Gimli, Aragorn. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I don't think I'm gonna let my kids play with this though. I think I just want to keep this as like a collector's thing. So cute. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, rated R. No knives went missing, I hope. Well, <laughs> I did have two just in case I lost one. Here's one. I'm sure they're around. I'm sure they're not. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. One sec. One sec. I gotta, this is a big box, so I gotta make some room. And then we're gonna do the pillowcase pull, and then, oh. Okay. Hi, back. Okay. Ooh, one sec. Okay. Oh, found it. Found the other one. At least these ones are like safe. Safer. Okay. <clears throat> this is two more packages from Erin G, who is just too good to us. Um, oh yeah. These are so good. And Starburst Swirlers, those look cool. They're like straws. And 
apples. I am so sad for movie candy. Those are amazing. Um, okay, I have a question. This reminded me. I keep buying, buying jelly beans at the store because it's Easter time. And I'm looking for the ones where the green jelly bean is um, spearmint flavor. And I keep buying these bags of jelly beans and then I try the green and it's lime. So I don't know if that was a Canada thing or are those available here? And if so, does anyone know what brand that is? Ooh, sweet and sour. Build, build Twizzlers. Oh my gosh. Almost famous. Kate Hudson. There she is, Penny Lane in the flesh. We look alike. <laughs> and all these boxes are going to be so great to reuse. Thank you. We also got. Quick trip! Have I told you how much my uncle from Kansas raves about this place? Oh my gosh! Cups from your uncle's favorite gas station. You guys! Oh my gosh, a Chewbacca lanyard. So cute. Love him. Can I just say? that it really helps in these new Star Wars that Chewie's still in there, but I feel like they have not given him enough to do. I want him in there more. Perfect cut deckles. Ooh, the big cheese ultimate cheddar. I've never tried these. Blast of butter. Never tried the microwave cheese popcorn. Oh my gosh, marshmallow flavor popcorn? I think I would love this. Did not know this was a thing. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Oh, and we got some more movies, people. Okay. One more. Can I put these on my car? They're so awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Empire Records, Don Juan, The Right Stuff. Ooh, I wanted to watch this one after Apollo 13. She's the one. Phenomenon, Breaking Away, Steel Magnolias, Eight Men Out. For the love of the game, this was on the baseball poll. I wanted that one too. Gone Baby Gone, Mystery Alaska. Krusty, don't you love this one? Secret Admirer, okay. Martian Child, The Sure Thing, Lover Boy, Just One of the Guys, oh, okay, maybe won't put that one in. And um, we've got the Dirty Dancing and Almost Famous CDs. Oh, thank you so much, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. Oh boy. You could only see this bed right now. Okay. I've lost track a bit here. One sec, everyone. Hold, please. Okay. This one in. Um, the other one from Aaron G, it says to open with Carly at the same time. So I'm going to wait and do that and I will talk to him and do with Carly. The note in a previous one said that from Aaron. So, um, I know big ones came, one for me, one for Carly. So we will do that together on an Instagram. Okay. That is all the packages. So. You know what that means. Time for the pillowcase pull. But first, 
Guys, thank you for all those who have stuck around. And um, I wanted to um, tell you about... Oh, is there another one? Yeah. From the, from the last pillowcase poll, I did some wild card picks that I still haven't watched. And I will. They are still on my list. But um, between trying to catch up to current stuff and poll winners and popcorn picks, I'm um, a little bit behind. But I still want to watch them. I think I pulled Jeremiah Johnson, Legend, Birds, and Highlander as wild card picks. Last time I pulled The Cutting Edge, and I watched that. And, um, why is my brain not working? What's the one with Patrick Dempsey that I loved? The African anteater dance. What is wrong with me? Someone tell me. Can't buy me love. Oh my gosh, thank you. Okay. Look at this giant thing. Hey. It's okay. Hey, one sec. These. I gotta put this in and this in. Last two. Put those in. Put this. Hey, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna shake it. Gonna turn it. <laughs> Hey, what? What is it? Anatomy of a Murder. James Stewart, Lee Remick. Okay, I, is this a, um, is this a Hitchcock one? I know James Stewart is from Anatomy of a Murder. Is there a James Stewart? Okay, I think this looks really good. Looks like crime. And I love James Stewart from the movies I've watched him in. Rear Window, It's a Wonderful Life, right? Hey, winner, winner. Thank you to whoever sent me this. Fantastic poll, yay. Used in law classes. Okay, it's not Hitchcock, but Okay, so it seems like you guys like that. Okay, guess what? I'm pulling another. I cannot help myself. Just because it's so fun and so many people sent DVDs and I feel bad, so I'm just going to pull another one and let's see what it is. Okay. Just so you know, these were all randomly put in here. And yes. oh, clear and present danger. Harrison Ford. Hey, this is a Jack Ryan one. Is it the next one though? I've watched the first Jack Ryan with Alec Baldwin. Is this the second one or is there one in between? This was not rigged. <laughs> Someone said I rigged it. Um, okay, Patriot Games first. That's what I thought. And then this one. Fine, I'll watch two Harrison Ford movies. You guys insist. Um, um, what was I going to say about this? Oh, I watched the Jack Ryan TV show on Prime with John Krasinski and really loved it. So... I'm really excited about this one. And I'm really excited about this one, even though I know nothing about it. Except J James Stewart, who I will take. Okay, I think these are really good picks. I'm excited. I'm sorry if yours did not get pulled, but thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to send them to me. Okay, just as a reminder, I am gonna donate 10% of um, any super chats I got today to the International Rescue Committee in support of Ukraine. And um, thank you for everyone who super chatted, who didn't super chat, but just was here, 
who sent a package. Um, thank you to the moderators so much. Thank you to my amazing editor, Michael. Um, I don't know if you're watching, but uh, you just deserve a shout out always. Um, <clears throat> and um, is there anything we need to talk about before I go? Any pressing questions? I mean, Chris Carlton Bishop, sending appreciation from Seattle. Love your streams. Clear and present danger is amazing. Okay, I'm so excited. Toddzilla sent a chiller for Krusty. He wants you to watch Stargates. <laughs> Krusty Mystery Alaska is Krusty approved. Oh my gosh. John John, thanks for being so generous with your time and philanthropy. Oh, I should do more. I love you, mean it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He is above and beyond what any YouTube moderator does. Show your Easter nails. Look. Cute, right? Oh, come on. Don't focus on my face. Oh, they've got little flowers on them, but you can't. Can you see? Pretty cute. Carly inspired me. She did purple, then I had to do purple. Um, Gargantua Dark City is an amazingly underrated sci-fi movie. I haven't heard of that one. Thank you. Um, have you ever seen Prince of Egypt? I have, and I talked about it lots when I was watching, um, the Ten Commandments, you'll see. Um, I love the Prince of Egypt, and the mu the music is amazing, and talk about, like, as a kid, that's, like, one that, like, makes you want to watch church movies, so, <laughs> um, <clears throat> Rated R, in that case, here's towards your channel and the donation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rated R. Um, I watched Black Widow with you and never really got the sister aspect until I watched it through your eyes. Oh, I know. We, uh, it's funny though because I feel like maybe. Carly and I, even though I'm the older one, she's younger, I feel like she's like more like Natasha, more responsible. I don't know. I really like that sister aspect. Um, Toddzilla, I hope you know how much your fans appreciate you and how much happiness you bring to all of us. Thank you so much. Um, I got this message on, no, I don't want to share that. Well, someone commented on YouTube about how movie reaction channels are just ripping off other people's work and we should be ashamed of ourselves and how it's all just like this money making scheme. And I get that that's a way to look at it. A very sad way to look at it and I keep thinking because I always reply to people in my head I'm sure you guys do the same thing I keep thinking of a reply to him and I just think that like yes you could look at it as this is just a scheme of whatever or fake or whatever but I truly think The reason that my channel is succeeding and the reason that it's brought this like really, really great community together is because we don't look at it that way. We just look at it as like enjoying other people's work. Like, yes, I'm watching other people's work, but we're enjoying it and connecting with each other through it and it can help people feel like they're watching a movie with a friend or that they can watch it for the first time. Something they love so much, they get to see it through someone else's eyes. I don't know, I just am thinking all this in my head in reply to this that has just been bothering me. I just never want you guys to think this is like just about making money or just about views or anything like that. I'm just like so proud of this community and this 
work, if I can call it, that I'm doing. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm going on a rampage, but <clears throat> um, just the messages that I get that like, you know, people who are lonely or just like they look forward to Monday, Wednesday, Friday when a new reaction drops and it's something to look forward to or whatever. It just really is important for me to hear that because I get this imposter syndrome a lot and just thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm not fishing for compliments. I promise when I'm saying this stuff, I just, I don't know. Um, okay. D. Patrick, will you think of a charity fundraiser contest, your pick of charity, and the winner gets his or her movie choice? I love that idea. Yes, let's do that. Um, that is a great idea. Thank you. Um, I'm going to think about that and put that together. Eric Z, when you're done with Star Wars films, would recommend TV stuff, Clone Wars, The Mandalorian, etc. really expands the universe. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to do The Mandalorian for sure after. And um, I'm not ready to let go of Star Wars universe yet. So even though the fans be crazy, <laughs> um, it's, it's still such a fun world to think about and react to and <clears throat> I've gotten so involved with the characters I gotta keep going um Makash Brody I'm so happy to have met a friend like you great reactor even better person thank you I really feel like that <clears throat> with all you guys that like it's just the internet is so cool this is like the internet can be horrible and toxic and terrible and gross but like this is the cool part of it that we can connect like I have never felt like I've had so many friends in my life. And I keep saying to my real life family and friends, I'm like, oh, my friend from Ohio says, and they're like, your internet friend? I'm like, yes, but like, I really truly feel like that. <clears throat> so thank you. Um, it's me, Dave. Thank you for all you do, Cassie, your inspiration and not just for the memes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> say good night to Harrison's head back. <laughs> Thanks to Ben too. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I should put him like on the roof. Just kidding. Um, rated R, you are great. That's why we all are here to support you. Must go faster. I know, sorry. No, I don't think you meant it like that, but uh-oh. Um, Kodo Hundo, thank you so much. All right, guys. It's been a long time. Um, <clears throat> Be kind. Hi, I, he was an early patron. I, sorry, um, I was about to answer your question, but then it disappeared. Um, um, okay, well, that was super fun. I, I'm going to show on my Instagram the state of this room again because it's insane. Um, Everyone is just so generous, and I love your thoughtfulness and funniness and everything movie-related that I've gotten from the packages. So I hope this was not too long and boring for you. I um, liked hanging out with you guys in this way. And then um, I want to have another trivia night coming up on Discord and Patreon soon. And... Um, on Patreon, next week is going to be Major League, The Batman, and Legends of the Fall. YouTube will be Falcon 5 and 6, Black Widow, and The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments will also go on Patreon tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, it's going to be fun. Got some fun stuff coming up, our secret project. And remember, the merchandise store is now open, popcornandbed.com. We're going to keep adding to it. And I know there's mostly Star Wars stuff on there right now and some just logo stuff, but I want to do like a Lord of the Rings collection and I want to do a Dirty Dancing um, popcorn and bed logo throwback and all the things. Actually, Michael, our editor, if you guys seen in the reactions, he does like a like a logo with the movie and incorporates popcorn and bed. So he 
did this one for Star Wars, which we loved. And so we asked him if we could um, put it on a shirt and he will benefit from it too. So I think it's going to be a win-win. The tumblers are going to go on there. There's only a few right now. I feel bad about these because um, normally these are like $23 on Amazon, the Simple Modern. They're the very best, better than the Stanley, better than the Yeti, um, in my opinion. And but to get them customized, I think we paid like 25 each and we'll probably just like sell them for like 26 just there's only a few of them so um <clears throat> blah 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 I can't stop talking guys okay um come on oh it froze am I still on what if I've just been talking and I'm not on okay I don't even know My computer has froze. I don't know if I'm live right now. Okay, I'm still on. <laughs> now it's going on. <laughs> it's like brrr, catching up. <clears throat> oh, sorry. The internet killed malls, Toys R Us, Circuit City arcades, and even movie theaters. That but true. Wow. Do you think movie theaters could ever truly go away? I hope not. I love going to the theater. Almost as much as I love watching a movie in my bed. Timothy, I hope you get around to reacting to Roman Holiday and Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, yes, I need to get some Audrey Hepburn on the channel. Thank you. Did you hear about the Firefly series coming to Disney Plus? I have heard rumors. But I don't know how founded they are. I think I would be so sad if it was a new cast, though. It wouldn't be the same, would it? Um, okay, guys. Well, I'm going to officially end it now. You guys are the very best. This was so fun. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending too long on your Saturday with me. And let me know... If you like these the way they're spaced out like every couple months or if I should make them more regular or I know this might be a hard time for Europeans and other time zones but um, let, me, let me know your thoughts and thank you again I will never stop saying that and have a wonderful rest of your weekend stay safe and love you all okay